What's going on, you guys? This is Mally Hack on tutorial on how to root your Motorola Zoom Wi Fi. Uh, mine is currently running a 4.0.4 .4 firmware. Um, I've heard that this method of rooting can be done to any kind of Zoom, but I wouldn't quote me on that. I would go on the XDA forums and maybe get more information on that, see what they have to say. Uh, now, by saying this, um, you are responsible for what's going on with your Zoom. If you do end up breaking it, you know, proceed at your own risk. So, and also, by doing this procedure, you are avoiding your warranty. So, um, <clears throat> just letting you guys know, give you guys a heads up. If you guys don't want to avoid that warranty, I wouldn't suggest, you know, rooting your Zoom. Now, also, you might want to go ahead and you have any downloaded files or anything on your Zoom. I would go ahead and try to save those on your desktop because this, the rooting procedure will um, delete everything and go ahead and put your zoom back to the factor reset okay so uh, by saying that now let's go ahead and start this uh, tutorial now you should have downloaded the file that's on the link that I provide on the description um, okay we'll go ahead and extract the folder into your desktop if you have a zip program or if you don't have a zip program go ahead you can download it from Google uh, it should be free I'm using WinRAR so um, okay let's go ahead and open this up and I put here together um, the folder with you need the things that you need to get this um, to get this going. Got the ADB fast boot, and then the you need the uh, drivers and the recovery. That was the Clockwork Mod recovery, which you're gonna flash into Zoom, and or you gonna use that to flash the root, which is you know super user and all that stuff. So right now what we can do is so I'm gonna hit open up step one. This is just show you. I wrote down everything that you know step by step what I'm gonna do. So now I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and install the drivers. Once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and click on the ADB, and drag that to your desktop. Okay, and close that out. And now you're gonna go ahead and extract the file out to your desktop. It's right there. Now, so you got the the drivers with the fast boot. Now you're gonna go ahead and drag this up to your C drive. So you go ahead and click and drag. So you see drive and then you're gonna create a shortcut for it to your desktop not a copy and paste but a shortcut okay go ahead and close that up now we're gonna go ahead and activate the fast boot um, so we can open up the, the command now I wrote exactly what's gonna what I type in the command prompt so you can't see for some for some reason it's right there okay go ahead now just copy this down okay let's continue okay now what i'm doing here is just a um we're trying to find a directory of the for the command so now that we're actually in the adb folder we're gonna go ahead and type in the um what it needs to do so go ahead and try to find our device okay once I hit enter it should look for the device number so once you get that number going on this one right here this serial um, you should be good to go okay fast boot is going so that's done that part is done ready to go now the next step would be to unlock your bootloader okay now remember by doing this you will be voiding your warranty okay so let's go ahead and open up the command again and that just copy the same things again, okay? So go enter, enter again. Now I want to type this in. This is the command. Okay. Now what's going to happen is your your Zoom is going to restart and go into the Motorola Dual Core uh, logo. And on the top left part of the Zoom, it's going to say um, starting fast boot protocol support. Once you see that going, uh, it's just going to stay there. So you're going to go ahead and um, do the last command, which is fast boot OEM unlock. Okay. Oops. Unlock. Okay. Now, what this is going to do is it's gonna bring up a screen. This is gonna tell you basically um, 
you know, you're unlocking your bootloader, blah, blah, blah. You're going to void your warranty and all this other stuff. Okay, and then the bottom is going to give you a selection of choice, whether you want to cancel or whether you want to accept, okay? The volume down is going to change your selection from cancel to I accept. And the up and the volume up button is going to give you the is the enter button. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and click the down button, the down volume to I accept and hit the, the volume up. To hit enter, it's going to tell you again, you know, about to unlock your device. Are you sure you want to continue? You can go ahead, yes, I accept. So click volume down and then volume up. And then it's going to be in the box, say device unlock operation in progress, formatting UDA. Okay, so um, I'll be right back. Okay, now you should have your, your Zoom uh, rebooted. So it should be now, and you know, doing this whole reboot thing now. Okay, so now that we're done with the um, unlocking the bootloader, you're gonna close that up. And then the next step you're gonna do is as soon as your, your Zoom is connected again, it turns on to the main menu, you can go ahead and do the whole, um, the whole introduction to the Android, you know, the welcome, go ahead and start. And um, go ahead and do that very quick if you want, or you can skip it, do it later. Okay, now what you wanna do is, um, you're gonna to have to copy the recovery, the recovery file to the shortcut. Okay, so I'm gonna hit open. This is the the zoom is connected now to my to my computer. Open up your the folder you downloaded, go get the recovery, and go ahead, click and drag that to the shortcut that we created. Okay, now the recovery is in the ADB shortcut. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to push that into the Zoom so that it can install the Clockwork mod. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to have to copy the universal root to the SD card. Now when I say SD card, I mean the internal memory. Okay, okay so we're going to go ahead and copy that to, um, to my Zoom. So I'm going to hit open my files. Okay. Here's my internal storage, my SD card, and then this is my external SD card. So what you want to do is open up my internal memory and copy that, um, copy that to my to my internal. I already have one in my SD card just in case. But you can go ahead and you know copy one there too if you'd like. Um, okay, close that out. Now that we've done that. We're gonna close that out and we are done with step one. Now we're gonna go with step two, which is the root instructions. Okay, now once again you need to make sure that your things in USB debugging. So once again go to settings and then go to developer options and hit on click on USB debugging. Hit OK. Okay, it should be good to go. Now open in command again. Oops. Run the command. Okay, and then you're gonna type in exactly what I have typed here, okay? So you're gonna go do almost the same thing, open up a directory, and then you're gonna go ahead and do the whole uh, bootloader thing again. Okay, hit enter again. Now, once your zoom goes back to the um, to how it was before on the the dual core uh, logo thing again it say starting fast boot protocol support on the top left now what you're going to do is um, you're going to go ahead and type in fast boot flash this is the command that you're giving the adb program to do so that's the command, and this is the file recovery.img. That's the file that we we um, copied or moved to the ADB file folder. Okay, make sure everything's spelled right, so we're good to go. Facebook slash recover recovery.img. Okay, once that's done, go ahead and hit enter. It's gonna do its thing. 